hi everyone this is christian here on youtube and welcome to a brand new video for the channel in today's video i'm going to talk to you about the a two minute strategy uh specifically because many people have some uh frequent questions in regards to this strategy and now it's actually becoming more viral in fact the video that i posted like on this month like on august 9th like 20 days ago he's got over 23,000 views already so I decided to actually answer the most common questions in this specific video and of course show you how I actually did on August 26th. I had a small session with the two minute strategy yesterday. I, uh, the day after I tested a different strategy, it didn't work and, uh, been trying certain things, but the two minute strategy, I only had one session and I'm going to show it to you right now, but before I jump into the video, if you guys are new into my channel and you're into binary options, forex trading, crypto trading, or any type of making money online, this channel is for you. I do a lot of software reviews, broker reviews, and give you tips and strategies as to how to make money with online trading, just like this one. So if you guys are new here, you should consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. So right here, I am on my IQ option account and the results that I had on the 26th are the following over here. Here I was testing something else for Forex, uh, a, a long-term strategy. I actually shared this on my Instagram account, but taking a look at the 26th, it's from here to here. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trades and six of them were in the money. Really easy session to follow. And uh, all I did, it was just following the two minute strategy, like I mentioned. So how does the two minute strategy works? Many people have been asking me, hey, Chris, can you give a, a, a little bit better explanation because we don't understand right now? The market is quite volatile, to be honest with you. I was going to trade with the two minute strategy, but I, when I saw the markets, I said no. So I'm going to give you uh, three, uh, three frequently asked questions that I, I get in regards to this. Someone asked, hey, how come you enter the trade sometimes when the, the blue line hasn't touched the yellow line? And this is the more that one of the most important parts of the two minute strategy, which is MACD. The MACD indicator will actually give me a prediction as to when the trade will be in the money. For example, right now you guys are looking at the periods is 12, 26 and nine. And with the moving averages is actually 16, 14 and 26. So this one moves just a little bit like faster one minute one candle before it moves faster so if you guys notice in here um the blue line seems like in about four minutes is gonna touch the yellow line and it's gonna be a call but the um, the macd on the next candle is gonna tell me if whether if it's gonna be a successful trade or not right now we're talking about right now it's gonna close one candle and the macd is actually gonna get closer the two lines on the macd are gonna get closer there you go if you notice it's still no time so within the next two minutes probably um the macd is actually gonna touch the, the blue and the red line and then the following candle is going to be the one that is going to be in the money. So this MACD indicator is just like some sort of uh, prediction uh, indicator or, or what is it called? How can I call it? Like, um, uh, yeah, like, I don't know. It's like looking at the future, you know, it's just like this indicator is actually going to help you decide whether you should trade the next two minutes or not. We're gonna wait for this one to actually touch because that way I can show you with the live results. In the meantime, I'm gonna answer the second question. Second question is, hey Chris, what's the red line for? The red line is actually gonna determine what direction you should be following for the next trade. So for example, the red line is above the blue line and the yellow line like it is right here then that means that this is going to be a call. But for example, in here, uh, let me see if I can find one. Oh, in here, the red line is below the blue line and the yellow line. So here, 
is a put. Obviously, it's not 100% in the money, but this is this one is a put. Now, for example, here, I wouldn't go with it. Even though it was a win, it's too risky because the red line is in the middle. So that means that it's not completely accurate, you know? So the red line has to be on uh, at the direction of the trade that you're gonna place. If the red line is below the, the two moving average indicators, then it's a put. If it's above, then it's going for a call. Uh, let me see if I can find another example here. Mm, there you go. Look at this one. It's a put, but the yellow line, the, the red line is not there. Even though it's a win, I don't recommend it. All right. Right now, like I said, the markets are very volatile. Right now, if you notice, two more minutes and it didn't touch right now. So we're going to get wait for one more candle so that you can see. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me just go ahead and place a $1 trade just to show you when I enter the trade. Sometimes I enter before the blue line touches the, the yellow line and that's the confusion of many people. Let me just go ahead and my, uh, yeah, let me move this cause otherwise my camera, let me make it a little bit smaller. There you go. Um, so we're going to weigh that. That's uh, question number two, right? In regards to the red line. And the number three is in regards to what is the expiry time. Because not all of you are actually using the two-minute strategy. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, you, not, not many of you are using IQ option. So if you guys are not using IQ option, then it's a little bit more complicated. As a matter of fact, the broker that I recommend instead of binary option, uh, instead of IQ option, if you don't have it available, it's pocket option. In fact, I made a video in regards to what's the best broker for the two minute strategy. You should definitely check that out. But uh, yeah, it's the one that I recommend because the expiry should be exactly, and let me just move my camera to show you. If you notice right here is 933. So the expiry should be at 934, 936, 938. It, if you place it right now for two minutes, it will expire at uh, 935 with 30 some seconds. You know what I mean? I hope that really makes sense. If not, just repeat the video many times so that you understand it. What you need is a broker that will have an expiry time specifically at certain two minutes in and time clock. So IQ option and pocket option. I think there are some other brokers, but I haven't really checked them out that have this expiry time. I think uh, binary send only have like one minute expiry or something like that. Right now, if you notice, uh, there's a huge resistance right now to go and cross this line. So I'm just waiting. It doesn't matter if the video is a little longer. I'm sure you guys will find a lot of value on it. So if you notice right here, it's starting to go a little bit more closer. So I'm 100% sure that in the next candle, the MACD is actually going to touch and go up. So look, yeah, it's going to happen. So I'm going to set the expiry for 938 and enter once this candle is closed at 936. Um, like I said, this is not 100% in the money strategy. And right now the market's very volatile, but we're going to give it a try because I want to do it live with you all so that you guys like understand as much as you can of this strategy. Even if right now I see that the candle drops, but it's still green. I know that the next one is going to be two minutes. So it's more like about reading the, the, the market and reading the predictions. You know, it's not just like about, Oh, you know what? It didn't touch. So I'm not going to enter. No, you have to do your own analysis. And in order to understand all of these movements and know the mentality and the emotions, I recommend you to go to blwtradingacademy.com and take my $25 trading academy. And I'm sure you guys will get it. And by the way, the links for the brokers, the best brokers for this strategy are going to be below in the description of this video. Uh, IQ option and pocket option. Of course, there are affiliate links and I'll get a small commission if you join using those links, but it's just part of the mains that I have for having this YouTube channel and giving away this free strategy. So right now I'm going to enter. It looks kind of risky, but I'm still going to enter. So three, two, one, and I enter right there. So I enter the next trade and I noticed that if you see the MACD actually crossed and this time, because there was a big jump before, also the moving averages uh, jumped. Right now, there is a possibility that it will retract 
and become a losing trade simply because if you notice in this area there were like a lot of crazy movements so the strategy is not being respected 100 percent and once again, look at the MACD didn't really cross in here, but still the moving averages got crossed to each other and the red line was in the middle. So it was like a whole mess in that specific part here. Right now, of course, it's just a $1 trade just to show you how this is gonna work. I'm not gonna risk my real money in a trade that I know it's too risky, but um, so far it's looking good. One minute expiry and uh, I wanna keep this video that long. But these are the three questions, right? Uh, what is the MACD for? Uh, number two, what is the red line for? And three, uh, what was the third one? Oh, the, the expiration time. Like I said, uh, choose one of the brokers that I recommend. Actually, Pocket Option is available worldwide, even in the US, so you should be fine with it. And IQ Option is available in a lot of countries in the world, so you can check that as well. Um, Let's see. And uh, once, as, as soon as I see more, uh, what, like more frequently asked questions, I'm going to continue making videos just like this one in order to answer as much as I can. Uh, we're just going to wait for this trade to expire. And I think that's going to be it for this video. In case you guys have any questions, you guys can put it in the comment section below. Check also in the comments on the other videos. You might find the answers in there to many of your questions. So you should definitely check that out. Look at the last 10 seconds actually dropped. So it's not a win. Uh, probably it's going to win in the next candle, but I'm, yeah, it won. It's really tight because, you know, like I said, the market is not really looking that good right now. So I would stay away from this market and just wait for the markets to be a little bit more stable in regards to the two minute strategy and then you should good to go. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you guys have any questions, like I said, just put it in the comment section below. If you found value on this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you on the next one.